What's up guys, the pro here, and today what I have for you guys is uh, my first ever tutorial um, on the Lenovo uh, ThinkPad um, X14e right there. And uh, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to perform an LCD repair. If you have seen the stain, this thing is right here. This is, this is actually how bad it is. It's shattered. Um, it doesn't work. It's my friend's. He, he, uh, this is his school computer. He, uh, he broke it because he... He punched it right after it fell on here and it uh, cracked the screen. Let me just show you guys what it looks like right now. See, that's a total disaster right there. Totally dead screen. The computer, it was fully functional right until the point where you can't use it because it is destroyed. So as you can see, that's not too bad. Uh, I have a brand new LCD panel um, right here. This is brand new. I just got this from Amazon. I'll put a listing down in the description. Um, but uh, you know, right, here's the here's the results right now. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to replace this. Um, so there's the new screen over there, and uh, this is dead. So let's go ahead and sh let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is uh, some tools. You can't perform a repair without tools. So you're gonna need he, these pry tools just in case because you're gonna have to disconnect the. Uh, the 40 pin, which will be a pain in the butt, and you're gonna, you're probably gonna have to want to keep some tweezers aside and some screwdrivers just in case you have to remove things. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, use a flathead screwdriver. What? Yeah, no, not this one. It's too big. Uh, we're use this thing, and uh, come over here, and we're gonna uh, and we're gonna take these little things out because those are what hide the screws. And uh, once you just take them out, you just can take them, stick them on like the battery or something. These are really easy to lose, guys. So just watch what you're doing here. I just uh, threw one right there. Ooh, that's annoying. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you're gonna have to remove those to like take off the bezel frame, which I will do in just a moment here. All right, so there you go. I'm, I've uh, Cooking off the, uh, the the these little things. Oh, uh, what the? There we go. There, there it is. All right. So once you've done that, you're gonna get a uh, your uh, screwdriver here, and you're gonna go at your uh, Phillips uh, cross screwdriver, and you're gonna go ahead and take off these screws. Uh, just be careful. Uh, you're gonna have to. First of all, I forgot the step. Um, take out the battery. You don't want to be messing with your computer's internals while the battery's on. So toss that aside. Open it and uh, open the screen all the way as much as you can. Put it like on the horizontal position and uh, take off these screws because uh, you're gonna have to do that. Alright, so uh, you're gonna have to take those out. Uh, get your, uh, you're gonna want to have some tweezers uh, nearby to take out the screws. These are uh, quite handy actually. Let's see, it's one right there. And uh, <laughs> these are a pain in the butt, so just uh, you're gonna have to be a little careful with these. They're not that easy to take off. This one's not. There we go. Uh, so there, you just grab your tweezers and I take this out. Oh, this one's bad. There we go. We're gonna keep going. So I'll just put it like this. There it is. 
Uh, make sure you toss those aside and you don't lose them. You're going to need them again to uh, put the, the frame back together. Um, but, you know, just keep them uh, somewhere safe so you don't lose them. You're going to be mad you did. Because buying screws is not cheap. I hate this one so much. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, this one's really. That's that one's really in there. Sorry, guys. It's a bit of a pain to take these out. Oh, there we go. Looks like it is out. There it is. So first thing you're gonna do, the next thing you're gonna do after you took on off your screws is uh, get your fingernails and just uh, you can just uh, rip it like this. Just don't, just there you go. And uh, just you're gonna carefully just do this on the side as well, like this, so. Be careful when you're doing it up here because like uh, you're going to break the webcam if you uh, are not, aren't careful. So you're going to lift the bottom and you're going to peel it off just uh, you're gonna, there we go. There it is. And as you can see the bezels are out. So you can toss that aside for now. And you're going to have to remove these four other screws that hold the LCD in place. And you're also going to have to remove the 40 pin which is why I got my pry tool here somewhere wherever it is. Yeah, there it is. It's down. These are they're down here actually. So let's go ahead and put these right there. Uh, we're gonna need them. So for next is you're gonna remove these other four screws because these are the ones holding your LCD in place. All right. So once you've got that, you're gonna get your uh, tweezers and take them out. Needs more. Oh, it got out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, let's toss this aside as well. Yeah, and you're also going to have to take these out. And finally, we have this last one. What boy? It's right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's turn this gate. <laughs> Alright, so, once you've done that, you're going to get your uh, your pry tool. Let's send, uh, just put it on the top of the screen here. And, uh, just take it out and just grab it. Try to, try to get it. It's a little hard. There we go. And there it is. It is out. Now, the, ne the worst part here is uh, taking out the 40 pin, which is uh, not the greatest thing to do here. So, you're going to go ahead and, as you can see, it is right there. And, 
we're going to try to unclasp this. It's, it's not that easy to do. Can't remember how to take this one out. Uh, oh yeah, I have to. I'm pretty sure I have to take off this label. And just you want to watch out for this. Uh, you don't want to pull it too hard because if not, your problems with your LCD go even worse. As uh, you're trying, you're pulling this a, w a little too far. And uh, right there, it just comes out. Yeah, and it's gone. And it is out there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is how it goes. Next, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, other LCD there. So we're going to grab this new one. As you can see, they are uh, pretty similar, actually. Except one is glossy, the other one is not. One is glossy, the other one isn't. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is plug it in. Because, uh, you know... And you just put it in like that, and uh, you just put it in. Just, uh, and once you've done that, you're just going to put it back in the frame it was. Hey, so uh, it turns out on my previous video, um, I did it wrong. Um, by saying that the fact that you have to put these this metallic clasp under the this frame thing But it turns out yeah, it goes on top and as you can see I've already got one screw in and uh, That wasn't so hard as I thought but like You know you just still have to be careful and as you can see there it is so the, the, screw, the screw goes on top of that and um, So once you've done that you're gonna go ahead and do that for all four corners because uh now you're going to break it. Alright, so we're about to wrap this up. Man, my fingers are so slippery right now. Oh yeah, I do also apologize for uh, making that mistake. Turns out these go on top. So I saved you guys a lot of it, time there. So, and there you go, that's the third. Also try to keep the, make sure that the computer's like that. So like, uh, so it doesn't tip over like this. Just try to keep it, the, and use the weight to distribute it on, flat on the, uh, on your working surface, which I chose a bed, and that was not a good idea. It's very jiggly here. Just because my table is a, uh, it's in use right now. Also, I uh, try to use your fingernails as tweezers so that you can uh, insert this correctly. Because these screws are really pretty, pretty freaking hard to insert. And uh, they're going in right there. And there it is. Uh, so just ever so slightly, um, you're, it should work after that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, keep going here. Sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our, our bezel frame one one last time. And uh, one thing you're going to want to do is uh, real, qu real quick uh, just close it. 
and stick in the battery to ensure you put in the 40 pin connector properly because that one is a little hard uh, as you have to insert it at like a ribbon you just turn on the PC and it looks like this wasn't connected yeah there we go yes as you can see the LCD is working again and all you have and uh, all we have to do now is uh, putting put on the bezel frame as so start with the webcam and make your way around because uh, if not you're going to break the lens on the webcam and that no, wait hold up no um, I found out you have to put these little clasps back in here and then you start with the webcam and keep going you have to make sure these clasps tight on correctly and there you go guys that is pretty much it you just have to put those uh, those other four screws back in these and uh, put these little squares back on there and that is pretty much it guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and sorry for the mistake and I apologize for the mistakes here and peace out hey guys the pro here and today this is the, the third part to my uh, tutorial I accidentally did screw up my video um, in the first place but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, the final results of that video just because I uh, I try to cram this I'm gonna cram this all into one video you know but uh, here is the final result if you saw the previous time that was destroyed um, and here's the, the 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 one that was destroyed uh, as you can see it is beyond repair now um, my cousin here at home he destroyed it I uh, just let him because you know we've got this boy here working nice and well and as you can see guys uh, I did mess up a little bit but at least we're good here and uh, everything still works uh, let's have one final look at the old one as you can see uh, it is uh, Lenovo registered and stuff and as you can see inside the LCD uh, that's the rest of it. it it is just dead right there it was a weak point on it right there um, but that's pretty much it it's like destroyed right there there's glass all over it I'm not gonna keep touching that cuz I don't need a uh, glass cut right now but that is uh, pretty much it guys uh, thanks for watching the, the final results of this video and catch you guys up on the next one later